Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the new add-ons in Blender 2.70, the Sketchfab Exporter. Now, this add-on is not really brand new. It actually was available before, but now it is included with Blender 2.70. And we're going to look at how to use that to move your models into Sketchfab. Now, if you're wondering what Sketchfab is, if we go there, it's actually a place where you can upload your 3D models, share them with your friends, put them on web pages, embed them in web pages. It's been called the YouTube of 3D modeling, which, yeah, it's not quite true, but uh, close enough. So you can do a lot of cool things like, you know, rotate the model, zoom in on it, and you can even go, like if we wanted to see what's in this room here, zoom on in, and you can actually see what's in the room. Now, I can actually see in the reflection of this window a road and a hill and some power lines and things like that. But as you see, there's nothing there. I don't know if it's just because my screen isn't showing the background. Kind of interesting. Anyway, this particular model caught my eye in Sketchfab and I'm really thinking about doing a tutorial on this. So if any of you guys are interested, just uh, let me know. And if there's enough interest, then I'll definitely put it in the works. So anyway, back to Blender. So how do we get our 3D model into Sketchfab? Well, there's a few things you have to do. First, you, of course, you load up your model. And then we want to go to File and go into User Preferences. You want to make sure that you're in the Add-on screen. And then under your search, you can type in Sketch and it should come up with your Import Export Sketchfab Exporter. So then you just need to check this little box over here, make sure it's active. And if you want this to be active every time you open Blender, just save your user settings here. So once you have that, now me coming from, you know, knowing that the importers and exporters are usually found under these menus, I went here and I'm looking for it and it's like, where's it at? It's not there. Well, it doesn't show up there. Where it shows up is in your tools menu. So hit T, go into your tools menu. And remember now we have these nice new tabs you now have a new tab called Upload. So if we go there, we see our Sketchfab exporter. So you have a few options here. Under your model, you can either do by selection or all. Same thing with lamp, selection, none or all. And you, you can put a title in for your model. I'm just going to put HE14, which is the type of plane that I modeled. Description, just for now, I'm just going to put plane to make it easy. And you can put some tags on your model. And I'm just going to put uh, plain, comma, prop, comma, I don't know, rear prop. And you can make the um, upload private if you want, if you don't want it, everybody, you know, the whole world to be able to see it. And then you have this thing called Sketchfab account. And here you see this API key. And it's not readily intuitive what this is, so. What you need to do is be able to tell Sketchfab that it's okay for you to be able to upload into Sketchfab. So you need this API key. So if you choose claim your token, once you have an account on Sketchfab, you'll have an email associated with it. So you want to use that email. And when you put in that email and click OK, it will actually send you your API token. And it tells you up here your email is sent at your email address, which of course I didn't get anything because I didn't actually put an email in there. But once you have your token, then you, all you do is you paste it into this box here. And then it gives Blender the okay to upload directly in the Sketchfab. Now, another way to get this API key is to go into your Sketchfab account and under your password settings, you should see the API key there. So once you have all that figured out, you just select your model and click Upload. Now one thing I'd like to see here, if it's at all possible, is kind of like a progress meter so you know how much, how long it's taken to upload your model. Because sometimes it takes a little while and you're not sh quite sure if anything's going on. So once your model is uploaded, you'll get another little button that says View Online Model. So we're just going to click on that. And by default, it's bringing up my Internet Explorer, which is not really does not really work that well with X. Uh, Sketchfab, in fact, as you can see, sorry, the model cannot be displayed. Uh -oh. So I'm going to do a reload. Yep, still can't be displayed. So 
I'm going to go into trusty old Firefox, go into my models, and now I'm seeing something there. Actually, this is the one I loaded up before, but I'm going to click into the new one, and it loads up. And there you go, there's the plane. Now you can do uh, a lot of cool things with um, Sketchfab. You can, you know, fiddle around with the lighting and all of that. But as you can see, it, it even actually brought in some of my materials, which is pretty cool. So that is pretty much it, other than tweaking your settings in Sketchfab. Like I say, one thing to keep in mind, uh, Sketchfab works great in browsers like Firefox and Google Chrome. But when you go over to Internet Explorer, it claims that it works in Internet Explorer 11. However, yeah, not so much. I mean, you can see it, but it just doesn't look as cool, unfortunately. So that's it, guys. Go out there and share your Blender models with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.